Moving your physical self, changing your body and the world around you, implementing more technology to extend your life and really to extend human capability. You sound pretty much in love with Sky Larson, I have to say. I can't comment on that, but I am a big fan of her work. She's been one of these people that has transformed the world around us and just watching how her mind works and her power. It's pretty incredible because Possible some of what the technology she's introduced has changed how we all live our lives and Watch actually has been this really incredible assistance to humanity as a whole. Did I ever tell you that I actually interviewed Sky Larson once? Really? I thought she never spoke to the media or anything. So this was a long time ago, back in the day, when she was a little bit more accessible. And she was one of these people that just had an amazing presence. You were inspired by her very being. She was just incredibly talented and knowledgeable. And one of possibly the best living people I've ever met. I'm not sure you're being too objective there. I mean, I imagine she's not very likable as a person. She obviously despises humanity in some ways. I think she believes that becoming data is preferable to being human. She's one of these people who's extremely methodical in everything that she does, and she does everything to perfection and really tries to change the world around her and make it a better place for us to live. If you say so. Today on the upload, we're talking about Sky Larson, Larson, the enigmatic founder of Broker Tech. Everyone knows her name, but no one knows too much about her. And we only really see her these days as a hologram. She was pretty young when she launched Broker Tech, the company that was best known for introducing Bagley to the world. Nowadays, it's hard to remember the world before Over. Bagley. Bagley is the most advanced, significant AI of our time, and it's really blown all the other AIs that were created out of the water. And I think that what Sky Larson's done with Bagley is absolutely incredible. Yeah, I, mean, I can't really imagine without it. Without it. But what do you know about Sky Larson herself? Um, not a lot, other than that she's actually pretty incredible. Um, I followed her work for a long time, and she's always been a pretty private person. I know that she supposedly grew up in the countryside, but there isn't actually that much more we know about her other than this tech that she's put out into the world. I've always found it a bit creepy that she's so obsessed with this idea of transhumanism. Why wouldn't you be when you've got a mind as amazing as Sky? Why wouldn't you want to take what you've got and actually augment it by working with technology, by improving your physical self, changing your body and the world around you, implementing more technology to extend your life and really to extend human capabilities. You sound pretty much in the with Sky Larson, I have to say. I can't comment on that, but I am a big fan of her work. She's been one of these people that has transformed the world around us, and just watching how her mind works from afar is pretty incredible, because some of the technology she's introduced has changed how we all live our lives, and probably has been this really incredible assistance to humanity as a whole. Did I ever tell you that? She interviewed Sky Larson once. Really? I thought she never spoke to the media or anything. So this back in the day when she was a little bit more accessible and she was one of these people that just had an amazing presence. You were inspired by her very being and she was just incredibly talented and knowledgeable and one of possibly the best living people I've ever met. I'm not sure you're being too objective there. I mean, She's not very likable as a person. She obviously despises humanity in some ways. I think she believes that becoming data is preferable to being a human. She's one of these people who's extremely methodical in everything that she does, and she does everything to perfection and really tries to change the world around her and make it a better place for us to live in. If you say so. Objective voice of objection for a most objectionable world. Hello, Bucksters. Welcome to the park, the comedy show that holds up the Medusa of Santa to the already immovably concrete face of Morgan Griffin. I'm Andy, I'm Ben's and I can crack the shit in half just by looking at it. Come on, Bob, what is real? Receive, we're going to run. Danger. They're going to critical condition. Suspect. They're on foot. Over. Yeah. 